Hi guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new around here. My name is May and we are nearing that time of the year where we start talking about our least and our most used pieces for the current year. However, for my particular least used video of 2023, I also wanted to include two extra parts and that is going to be the pieces that I have sold throughout 2023. And I also wanted to add in this video some pieces that unfortunately have hit the chopping block and I am considering getting rid of. I will have timestamps to each part of the video down below in case you're interested in one or the other. For the vlog sale, I will just go over the pieces that I am considering selling. In the description box, I will go ahead and detail prices, condition, and everything else. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first part of the video, and that is going to be all the pieces that I have sold in 2023 so far. First off, we're going to start with a wallet, which I personally have raved about so, so much. So it's so funny to say that I no longer have it in my collection, and that is going to be my Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. I did start off the year with my Rosalie wallet in the Damier Ben print that's the one that I had which I had bought a second time because the first one that I had I had sold and then I went ahead and added it again on a trip that we did to Europe back in 2022 so I was super excited to have it back into my collection I have raved about that wallet and then this year Louis Vuitton went ahead and released it in the reverse monogram. I had been on a reverse monogram kick since late last year, early this year. You guys know my story about my Pachette Matisse, which we will touch up on that later on in this video. So as soon as I saw that they had released the Rosalie in this print, I was super excited. I knew I wanted to add it to my collection specifically because it also came with a back pocket. I personally love a wallet or a handbag that has a back pocket. So I knew that this wallet was going to be the perfect wallet in my collection. Boy, was I wrong. I went ahead and did a whole fail video in regards to that wallet and after I had it for a while and I saw myself not reaching for it, I decided to ultimately sell it as well. So backtrack, I ended up selling the Rosalie in Damier Ben because I got the Rosalie in the reverse monogram and I honestly didn't think I would need both. However, as I started using the Rosalie in the reverse monogram, I definitely felt that it was a little bit too bulky for what I ultimately loved about the Rosalie. And that was that it was just such a slim wallet, but it allowed you to carry so much inside. I have no regrets on selling the reverse monogram. However, I still miss my Damier Van one every single time. So I'm definitely considering adding another Rosalie wallet at some point. I did mention when I sold the reverse monogram one that I think I ultimately will want to go the route of the emperor leather. Let's move on to a handbag that I think will shock nobody if you have been watching me for a little bit and that is going to be my Gucci Gucci Sima camera bag. I added this bag honestly on an impulse. I had done no research. We went into the outlet in Orlando and and I just saw it and thought it would be such a good bag to have. It really was. It fit a lot of items and I liked using it for travel. But with that bag is when I quickly realized how much I enjoyed having a top handle in all of my handbags. I think it's just for the versatility aspect of it. Like I knew I would love to have a top handle in case that I wanted to carry the bag as a top handle. And unfortunately, that was just a very simple camera bag. So I went ahead and sold it just because I really wasn't grabbing it at all. And it was just shitty, shitting. <laughs> and it was just sitting on my shelf collecting dust. And even though there are particular occasions where a specific handbag calls for it, I don't like to have just one handbag for one occasion. That's why I really do my research and try to add pieces that are versatile in my collection so that I can really rotate them and use them whenever I want. Now, next up, let's get into another LV piece, which I recently sold. I think that was my latest sale and that was my Louis Vuitton card holder in the reverse monogram. As you guys can tell, I definitely went into a reverse monogram sort of moment and I'm quickly getting away from it as you can see I don't have any regrets and I know that she is in a very good home at the moment now we have two more pieces left that I have sold or sort of traded the last one I traded rather than sold but the one before that is actually my Fendi strap so I did mention that I wanted to get rid of 
of my Fendi Canine bag. And when I purchased that bag, I also purchased a strap with it, which funny enough, that strap is actually on the Fendi website as we speak. And I got it for no lie, probably like one third of the price. So I went ahead and sold that strap to a lovely subscriber as well. Again, no regrets, simply because I had that strap to use with my Fendi Can I, and I really haven't gravitated to that bag in a while. We'll touch on that in a moment. So I'm just happy that I was able to sell that off to somebody that might give it a little bit more use. Last but not least, we have my Polen number no. nine in the size mini. I actually did a video in which I revealed what bag I traded that one for but I ended up trading that bag with my sister-in-law she had a Polen bag that she wasn't using too often and I really just wasn't gravitating to that bag because of the opening it was very frustrating for me anytime that I was gonna place anything inside or take anything out again no regrets there I definitely don't miss that piece I just wish they had a size between the mini and the regular size of the number no. nine because I truly love the style of that handbag and I really felt like it was a very unique piece in my collection all right now that we've gotten out of the way all of the pieces that I have sold so far in 2023 let's go ahead and dive into my least used pieces of 2023 now don't think that these that I'm mentioning are all going to be part of the vlog sale at the end of this video the first item on this list is going to be a pair of shoes or better yet two and those are going to be my Valentino Rockstud cage heels you guys I love these heels, but for some reason I realized that unfortunately whenever I wear them with let's say short or cropped jeans, the fact that they do have the caged effect to them with the strap just makes my leg kind of look a little bit shorter than it already is. I am 5'3", so I definitely appreciate any length that I can get to make me look a little bit taller. And even though I ultimately love the style of this shoe, it is extremely comfortable as well. So I finally realized that I have to pair these heels more with like either a wide leg pant or maybe a long maxi dress or skirt. I wore these once, I think, this year. And then I have my Valentino ones in this beautiful cognac color. You guys know I am obsessed with this color, so I knew that I wanted to add them as soon as I saw them. I don't think I've worn them once this year. And it's just been, unfortunately, for that reason. Next piece is gonna come at absolutely no surprise, and that is, unfortunately, none other than my Fendi Can I. I will be putting this one as part of the vlog sale, so I'll get into a little bit more detail in regards to that, but I think I'm gonna be very repetitive and the reasons still remain. I don't grab this bag due to the smooth leather. Then again, she looks absolutely amazing. I've probably used her under 10 times, but even with that, she has no scratches, looks brand new. So it's kind of funny because maybe it's not as delicate as I ultimately think it is. And that is really what scares me from actually grabbing this bag because I really do feel that it is also a very beautiful bag. It sort of gives like that edgy chic vibe due to the fact that you have the scallop details on the bag, but at the same time, you have the iconic Fendi sort of like pyramid studs here, which I feel make it look a little bit more edgy. But you guys, I'm just not grabbing it. So unfortunately, this is, I think, the piece that I've used the least this year. I probably grabbed it once, if that. Next up, we have a little compact wallet or card case, and that is going to be my Valentino sort of card holder. I don't know why I don't gravitate to this one because it's actually very slim and very compact, and it actually holds a good amount of cards as well. You also have this pocket in the center which you kind of could put coins and things like that inside. Why I haven't really gravitated to it, I can give you a concrete answer. Okay, the next piece I think is gonna come at a little bit of a surprise because I was so, so excited to add this piece into my collection. And that is going to be my Alma BB in the Damier Ben print. I think this handbag is just so classic. For me in particular, I feel like she pairs so seamlessly and so perfectly with my style. And I don't know why it is that I haven't used her. I felt like somehow she was more of a autumn winter sort of handbag but then again the looks that i've been putting together i gravitate towards other handbags i've been grabbing a lot of my camel color bags so 
I don't know, maybe she doesn't go with my outfits as easily as I thought she would. I definitely plan on putting some looks together in order to incorporate her a little bit more for the upcoming season. We all knew that I was not going to use her as a crossbody bag. I did mention that in my first impressions video that I did do of this piece. But even just top handle, I think that she would be such a fun little bag to carry. And she actually fits all of my essentials that I would need on the daily. So... Definitely this one is at the top of my list to make sure that I style a little bit more often in the next couple of months. Now, the next piece is going to be a huge, huge surprise, I think, for the majority of you. And it's going to take us into the vlog sale part of this video. I wanted to start off with this piece and I've actually put a lot of thought behind it because I don't want to have any seller's regret, especially on these pieces that are now worth so much more money but I haven't grabbed this bag at all this year, you guys. I was so excited to do the switch last year and I really just haven't gravitated to it whatsoever. And that is going to be my Pusha Matisse in the reverse monogram. I know, I know. I, I think that I hear you guys in the background like, what, are you kidding? Are you serious? <laughs> But I am. Unfortunately, I have decided to officially part ways with this bag. As I said, I really just got out of the reverse monogram kick really quickly. And every time I look at this bag, I feel like I can use another one to wear with whatever outfit I am putting together that day. I haven't had like that kind of desire to use her. She is in incredible condition. I've probably used her not even a handful of times since I switched to this bag. And when I mean switch, I did a whole video in regards to that, but I actually took in my Louis Vuitton Pusha Matisse in the regular monogram to get some glazing issues fixed. And they told me that my Pusha was actually from a year that a ton had been recalled. So that same day, I was just able to walk out of the store with a new Pusha Matisse. And during that time, I was actually considering selling that one in order to get the reverse monogram one. So it worked out perfectly. But after that, I really just haven't used it. But yeah, all that basically to say that I think our time together has come to an end. As I said, I will link all the details of these items that I am considering selling down below. I am going to be pretty strict with the prices just because I want it to make sense for both of us. Now, before we jump into that piece really quick, all of these items I will just ship in the US. It doesn't make sense to ship them overseas and the prices won't make sense if you are shopping from overseas regardless. The prices will already include the shipping cost, which will be insured and everything will be dealt with as a first come first serve basis. I will go ahead and leave my email. Please go ahead and email me if you are are seriously inquiring about the piece I will try to leave as much information as I possibly can and then obviously if you do want any videos or pictures I can go ahead and send those to you via email or if you follow me on Instagram you can go ahead and DM me as well all right next up on my vlog sale is a little small SLG and that is going to be my YSL Cassandra wallet I just recently actually switched out of this one because I kind of wanted to give it a last run for its money to kind of decide if I did want to sell it or not and I do she is very similar to the Rosalie I have a comparison video in regards to that and also to my Hermes wallet and I've just been gravitating to my Hermes wallet so much more lately that I just feel like this one is just sitting there collecting dust so again everything and details will be linked down below for the most part I think everything comes with their box and their dust bags all of that will also be linked down below for you guys to reference and then you guys this one is definitely not a surprise but I am going to try and sell this bag again I have put it up for sale various times and I've kind of gotten some interest but nothing has been concrete obviously she's still here so this is the lowest that I'm gonna be able to go for this specific bag again so that it makes sense for myself and for you guys if it doesn't end up selling then you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it enjoy her and try to make the most out of it but I will be linking this one as well for sale I do feel like one of you can definitely make more use out of her than I have. 
So let's see if she finds another home. All right, so that does it for this least used in 2023, what I've sold in 2023, and what I'm currently selling in 2023 video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what have been some of the pieces that you haven't gravitated to too much this year, or that you thought you would, like I did with my Alma BB, and you really haven't, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that you don't love the piece. It just hasn't been the right time for it as always i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up i will leave another video for you guys to check out right here and thank you so so much for spending some time with me today and i hope to catch you all in my next one bye everyone bye.